गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द बॉडी एंड द इंटरक्शन बिटवीन द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी एंड द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड and this observation is being done by the self and all the while we will continue to observe the self also which we did in exercise 1 so in exercise 2 we discussed step 1 yesterday that as a human being i am a coexistence of two units one is the self which is a unit of consciousness and the other is the body which is a material unit so it is important to try to understand and observe these two realities as being separate or distinct so how do i know that i am there i can see the activities that are going on inside me the activities the feeling the thought the expectation that is going on within me on the basis of that i can see that i am there for this i don't need to go through the body i don't need to look through the eyes i can see my feelings my thoughts directly within and you can see that you are able to see your feelings your thoughts irrespective of whether your eyes are open or eyes are closed this is because the sense organs and the sensations through the sense organs is useful for getting information about the body and perhaps some information about the world outside but when it comes to the self the self has the capacity to directly observe itself without going through the body and in fact the self has the capacity to directly observe the body and the world outside without going through the body but at this time we may not be able to relate to it perfectly and that's fine too as we go along we will be looking at the interaction between the self and the body in some more detail so that we can understand better what is happening when there is this interaction happening so i can see that i am there because i can see my activities so i am definitely there i am existing i am a reality what about the body so the body is also there and i can see the body but how do i know that the body is there how do i see the body and we said that we can see the body we can see the image the shape the form of the body when we look in the mirror or when we look at another person so this seeing through the eyes this is reading a sensation through a sense organ of the body so i am perceiving the body the way i perceive it the shape the form based on the information i am getting through the sense organ i and we have all read about this that you know an image is formed in the retina 
and in fact it is an inverted image but then i am able to make some sense out of it i am able to process that inverted image and i am able to say that this is the body so how do we really see that the body is there you will observe that we are able to tell that the body is there only on the basis of reading the sensation from the body otherwise how else do we know that the body is there so by reading the sensation from the body we are able to see that the body is also a reality it is existing it is an existential reality so we are saying that the self and the body are two distinct realities and we are able to see this so again we'll ask this question are we able to see are you able to see that you are there as the self how do you come to this conclusion that you are there how can you tell how do you know that you are there yes surya kanchi yeah that's uh, while observation is going on mm. uh, what i feel i can observe my presence of the body mm. uh, through sensations like when i am sitting that's i can say that leg is there there is a pain with that mm. sensation i can observe that my leg is there mm. while i am taking air inside mm. so there is a moment of stomach so so that i can observe there is a part of the body mm. or even while i am sitting outside with the cool wind when it is moving i can say that there is a sensation of uh, uh, getting the air touching with the skin mm -hmm. like this i think the sensation which are coming out with our sensual organs i hope we can identify that body is there yes and even i can observe it the shape of the body mm. it is like in a specific manner mm -hmm. swapan ji namaste didi namaste. namaste to all uh this is the fourth time i am doing this exercise didi ji uh, i have not missed even a single session since i started that's uh, wonderful 21st april 2021 <laughs> so this is the requirement every morning every night when i sleep obviously i am very keen to get up but then early morning to get up sometimes the body is tired the whole day working because lifestyle now we have changed with all that no nap in the afternoon so that we sleep on time and get up on time lifestyle mm -hmm. but then in the morning especially it's a winter then i am observing even while uh, lying down that and, and this is what uh, it, it is most of the times i am with self mm. i'm not even aware that the body is there but then if some sensation like pain or itching comes and especially when i'm lying down then i am able to see even the pain in the toes or any part of the body or itching is there uh, so even when but then if i lost in my imagination especially in thoughts mm. then even i am not paying attention to it and then as now i think this is what i am feeling that yesterday also i observed it that if i if then i go to that part sometimes if i am paying attention that there is pain or itching then myself which is there and which is means do whatever then 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 again Uh, i i i lost the track of the body and then i again are lost in thoughts yes. and then i when i sleep i don't know uh, so this is what is happening even the during the day i now have reached to the kitchen i am here but still i was thinking today i will share because i wanted to share it uh, yesterday night also i thought today sunday i will share mm -hmm. so i came to the kitchen i don't know i uh, how did i come to the kitchen but then uh, <laughs> yes 
so most of the time this is what most of the people are sharing sometimes the milk rekha didi was sharing that day milk got mm-hmm. boiled and you don't even come to know yeah but i i means means if percentage wise i say that maximum times we are with self we are in thoughts yeah. yes. body we are not even realizing means obviously gross eyes we are looking at the others body most of the times we are not looking at our body gross mm-hmm. gro- even with gross eyes i am feeling Yes. only then the sensation somebody calls me or even sometimes is calling me if i'm busy in my thought even i'm not listening to that yes so this is all means what i am feeling that self as we what awareness has become self is at the center stage if self is aware then you will be aware of your feelings also but feeling mm-hmm. is very subtle you are right but maximum times the thoughts are there but even then you are lost in when your thoughts you are you are not even able to see what is happening around you but then like i ride my cycle it's a 11 km journey so yes as surekant bhaiya was also saying when you are feeling the cold the air is there then you feel the body is there but then next time next moment you are lost in your thoughts you don't know that where yeah. have you reached yeah. and then when it's little bit warmth in the body then the clothes are touching with the body because then it little bit sweatness or maybe that there then also we come to realize that there is a body but then again i lost that lose the track of the body most of the times i'm not aware of my body and some sensation comes but then the priority is there even right now maybe in itching maybe there in my body because my focus is now on speaking uh, i may not be able to see i'm not giving that the priority Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you to self exploration as you say and gratitude for all yes thank, thank you, you swapan ji we'll try to observe this directly these first two points are you able to see that you the self are there if so how did you come to this conclusion how did you decide how did you know that you are there and this other point that are you able to see that the body is also there and if so how did you come to this conclusion by seeing the body with the eyes or in some other way and today all day we will try to observe this directly for ourselves how do you say that the body is there how do you come to this conclusion are you just seeing with the eyes or even with the eyes closed can you see that the body is there and what is that when you are seeing with the eyes also that is also a sensation isn't it through the sense organ eye so try to directly observe how you are able to say that you are there as the self is there how did you conclude that and how do you conclude that the body is there and we'll take your observations tomorrow <laughs>